Hello, welcome back. Uh, during this week, I implemented image cropping functionality, and I noticed that when we pass uh, uh, image page uh, uh, with uh, form information, and uh, uh, if we crop left, right, top, and uh, bottom, uh, when this empty space in those areas, then Visual LLM is able to produce more accurate result uh, faster and uh, data retrieval is more accurate. So for this reason, I implemented uh, image cropping. Uh, obviously, it's not; uh, it should not be applied for uh, all the cases, but in some cases, it really helps. Like this is the uh, good example here of the invoice document, and we have some space on top. There's a space in the bottom, then there's a space on the left and right, and in this case, we can apply this automatic image cropping to improve visual LM performance. So let's say that we will fetch all the fields, uh, so we pass a star, uh, this means uh, Sparrow will let uh, uh, Visual LM to query all the data and produce structured output with this uh, all the data from the document. Then we don't specify any additional options, and here we say that, let's say we uh, specify crop size 60, this means 60 pixels will be cropped, cropped from left, right, top and the bottom of the document. Essentially this will make uh, document dimensions smaller and uh, there will be less area to process for uh, visual element. Uh, based on my experiments and tests, uh, results uh, uh, usually or uh, almost every time are better in this case. Okay, Sparrow key we pass here and by the way uh, this application runs on public domains, paro.katana.ml.io. You can access it from your machine. You could uh, see the examples with uh, basically cached uh, result data. Uh, if you want to try it with your own documents, uh, send me email or direct message, and I'll uh, share Sparrow key with you for your own tests. I have a key uh, because uh, Sparrow backend runs on my uh, local machine, Mac Mini M4, uh, and they don't want simply to overload the machine just with uh, a flood of the, of the requests from the from the internet. But if you drop me email uh, or direct message, I'll, I'll be more than happy to share the key uh, for your experiments. Okay, so we submit the request here, and you can see it's processing. And now what happens in the backend, that first image will be cropped, then uh, it will be uh, sent to the visual LM, Q12 in this case, and then as soon as the response is received, it will be uh, processed to, by Sparrow to check if the uh, response is valid JSON structure, uh, if it's proper structured response, and then it will be uh, returned back to the uh, someone who invoked this request, right? So while it runs, uh, we can switch to to the code, and uh, this is the original invoice file I was uh, submitting for the processing now for the UI, and I copied from the previous request the cropped file, and if, if you can see the cropped one is uh, visually smaller, and also if you check dimensions, uh, of the original and the cropped one, uh, cropped one is uh, smaller. And uh, as I said, that even this uh, small cropping uh, often helps to Visual LM to process uh, image faster and produce better results. So I think this is a very interesting and important point uh, when you consider using and working with uh, Visual LM models. In terms of the code implementation, uh, all this cropping functionality resides in Sparrow Parse library, which is installed in this case into Sparrow engine project here. And uh, there are two types of requests, uh, either we're producing uh, PDF or non-PDF. If we produ uh, process PDF, then uh, we check how many pages are in PDF, uh, extract pages and process pages separate, uh, each page separately, and then uh, join the results together. Uh, in our case now, we're processing image, and this means it's not PDF, so this function is being called. And uh, we don't pass uh, tables uh, only option, uh, because we process invoice with the form data and the table. So we go to this block over here, and 
Here we check if crop size uh, is not empty. Uh, this means crop, crop size was um, set to the value uh, which is not zero. So what we do here, we uh, invoke uh, Sparrow image optimizer and we call here crop image borders function and then uh, in the next steps of the Sparrow pipeline to process uh, this page, uh, cropped file path will be used, not the original one, but the cropped file path, which will point to the uh, actually cropped image. Right, and then if you look into the image optimizer, uh, all this code is available on the GitHub, by the way, and uh, it's quite well documented, so it's easy to follow it. So inside image optimizer, we have crop image borders function which accepts a uh, file, fi file path of original uh, file temp directory uh, to store the cropped image. Uh, this is the uh, directory where a uh, cropped image will be stored and as soon as the request completes, because it's a temporary directory, it will be automatically destroyed on the server side and this means uh, you, you can upload confidential documents as well and uh, after the request completes, everything is automatically removed, so you don't need to worry that uh, it's being stored somewhere. And as Sparrow is open source solution, all the code is on the GitHub, you can review this yourself. Uh, the bug directory, if uh, something doesn't work well, you can pass uh, the, the bug directory and uh, in this case on, on the server side where Sparrow backend running, inside the bug directory will be stored a copy of the cropped file so you could inspect if the cropping was uh, correct or not. And finally there is a, a crop size uh, so that the value in pixels uh, of uh, how many uh, pixels will be cropped from the left, right, uh, top and the bottom. Right, and then it's kind of standard uh, Python code here uh, goes below which helps to uh, crop and reduce image dimension. Okay, now if we go back we can see uh, response was retrieved and we can see that uh, we got correct invoice number, this invoice date, seller information, client information, then we got uh, summary total here, correct values, and if we explore here the first row from the table, we can see that the uh, correct description was retrieved from the multi-line text, and then there's a quantity, a unit, net price, uh, net worth, uh, what percentage and gross for all were correctly retrieved. And just to double check the last line uh, which uh, contains longer uh, description text uh, we got, we got it, uh, received also correctly. Then there's a quantity, net price, what percentage and gross for all were retrieved correctly. So it would work in this case also if you would have crop size zero, but uh, in the use cases that I was uh, where I was testing, like in proof of concepts uh, with uh, real uh, customer documents with more complex layout, uh, crop size uh, really helps, and cropping the image to reduce dimensions uh, really helps. So hopefully this uh, lesson or tip was useful for you and. Uh, if you apply Sparrow or your own solution for the document processing when you work with uh, Vision LLMs, uh, you can consider this advice uh, of cropping the image and hopefully this will help to improve uh, your data retrieval. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.